that's what's up. So how so how did this this Joe Young cocaine uh, relationship evolve? So yeah, so the good brother uh, Magic Mike from Nerf DJs, I've been kicking with, kicking it with him for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like we've been going back and forth on some real conversations. And Mike was like, "Yo, I got you got to do something with cocaine." I'm like, "What cocaine? The, the, the cocaine about the law code?" Like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, do, yeah, hook it up. Yeah, let's, you know, let's do it. Because it all made sense at the time. And my gut feeling was like, yeah, this could be a good thing. So me and the homie uh, Mike got the big homie Cope on the phone. And we just got down on that Chicago remix. And, you know, the people gravitated to it. Then we put out another record. What was the record after that, Cope? Which one did we uh, do after that? That was the um, Buster Rhymes remix. Yeah, the What I Remix, people gravitated to that. Then we did the You Hear Me Remix with uh, Corrupt from Dog Pound, people gravitated to that. And um, then we did the other record, like the people gravitated to a lot too, was the Waiting on Detox with Game on it. But that just leaked somehow, you know what I'm saying? This shit just leaked, but we got behind it. So like, yo, this is dope music, you know what I'm saying? We did the record, it came out, so... We noticed that the record came out, and we just got behind it, and we pushed it, and everything was dope with the record. So people really gravitating to what we doing and hitting the DM like, yo, y'all doing some dope music. And then me and Coach just came up with the idea, man, like, yo, don't, you know, don't change your winning team, man. Let's put this mixtape together and, you know, give it to the world, man. And they've been gravitating to it, man, and, you know, like that. We 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 got a lot of great things planned for the future, like you know what I'm saying. So mm-hmm. that's kind of how that happened. I mean, God just put it together. You can't really explain it. You know, we just had a few real conversations, and we saw eye to eye on everything we talked about so far. And business been smooth, and everything been dope. So why not, man? You know, and it's plus Coke is part of West Coast hip hop history. And people need yeah. to fucking respect that fact right there. You feel me? Like, people Word. really got to respect that fact. So, Word. like, I'm going to make sure, and Coco will make sure that they will respect all of this shit. Because this man been on 60 million records, mad Hollywood movies and shit, you know what I'm saying, on the San Andreas soundtrack. Like, you know, he got a few albums, a few classics. He, he, but the funny story about it is, my favorite record of all times is Tupac Fortune and Fame and Coke on the record. So I'm, it got you know, it just made sense that connections just happened. So, you know, that shit, <laughs> That's that, right. That shit was just crazy to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, word that coke yeah, and it, of course we don't do this. And you see how right. people react to it, man. You go to that piff right now, my first my first blowing that shit up. They download listening. You know, they, they just fancy good music right now, man. So that's how that happened. That's dope, man. Um, Coke is it, is it, December, man. We got a few weeks left in, in 2014. You 20 years plus in this rap game, like, like Joe said. Um, 20 years later, man, with, with all the accolades and accomplishments that, you know, Joe just named off and there's 20 others, that a lot of people probably don't know about. But, I mean, sitting where you're sitting at today right now, man, and looking back since 1991 when they put the first album out now, how how you feel about about the things you've done for, for West Coast rap, for, for just rap in general? Oh, man, I'm, I'm humbled. I'm humbled uh, because, man, it's, you see a lot of people in and gone this day. You see them... Uh, be one hit wonders, and you also see loved ones that you used to work with from Cam G, Z, Tupac, Mac Dre, Jay Dilla, even um, Screw, and just just a like combination of of uh, uh, being uh, being in this a long time is just surreal, fam. And the good thing about it is that uh, if it had not been for God, man, I I, I will sing the same song to the, the end of my passing. You know, if it had not been for God, man, really touching my life and giving me that type of family structure, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even be here, fam. And to look back and, and how I did certain things and touch so many lives, 
it just let me know that, that God had a purpose and plan for my life. It's to be a prophet of music. It's to touch people and and, 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 and make them inspired. And if, if anything that I want to be remembered as is a person that uh, was about those, the same type of pers- people that uh, uh, you can compare to your Marvin Gaye's because they touched on prolific edge and what's the sign of the times and also family structure and, most importantly, God, Heavenly Father. So, you know, with that being said, it's, it, this is an entertainment business, and it's a blessing to to have the young young generation to be able to take and what they learn from the OGs and to apply it and to hand down the baton. That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? So I think I've done that. I've been, you know, fired as kept, uh, the unsung hero and the scheme of the West Coast sound. But you, I look at it for what it is. Like when you hear certain records you heard back in the day, it's the name of my group and movement. Back then, was called aftermath. Uh, you would have never heard no words like word called balling or words like chronic in the first place because we above the law and cocaine is the inventors of G funk and we coined those records. So I look at uh, all the impact that it had and just co-writing the appetite for destruction and being on even being on the biggest selling NWA album but not being invited to the NWA movie. You see what I'm saying? So when I look at that, I just sit back and laugh because I know what I have done, and I'm comfortable in my own skin now because it used to bother me. But then at the same time, the way I learned from scriptures and learned from just life experiences is that don't worry about that. You work hard. God will get you to the right people that's going to compliment you and and really, 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 um, really want to see you do better. You know what I'm saying? So I sit back and I look at a lot of things, brother, and I sit back and just laugh. Me and Hutch sit on the phone and laugh all the time because we don't want to look like the mad rappers. But at, at the same time, the truth hurt. And I'm comfortable in my I'm very, very blessed. I have eight children, a wife. I'm successful in what I do independently. I, I'm not no porch monkey for no 360 deal. And I get a chance to mix it up with brothers like that, like Joe, who's family and orientated. And everything that's about us, as far as our Push Buddy Boy Entertainment, all the artists included, you know what I'm saying? It's a family structure. So I know where my blessings come from. My blessings don't come from these accolades or what these people try to hide up. My blessings come from God. In fact, those that try to nitpick me and take things away, I'm going to say the most pro- profound thing that I can say to them right now is God bless you. Speaking on the N.W.A. movie, um, the the brother Eric, he, he right, oh, gee, man, your fondest memory of working with, with, with Easy E? Um, just, just regular. 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 You see, Eric had gang. And him and Jerry Heller made, you know, a lot of people want to talk about Jerry Heller, but he was a he was a blessing to, to hip hop. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Those two together put something uh big together. But see what I remember about Eric. Eric was five foot something high. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't all flossy. He had on Khakis, the five oh ones with the court fences, you know what I'm saying? Or the or the hush puppies. Straight coat up with a Compton hat and a big body. And when he came around you, he came around came around the hood. He made you feel like, Hey, I'm a billionaire too. And see that's what I love about I'm gonna tell you something. No always I, I always why do you think I always mention easy, 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 easy? I respect and honor that brother, man, because you know why? Besides him being the model for Master P, Baby, uh, Dre uh, to follow, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you a story. Before my kids was born, they were born prematurely, twins. They were about to be born. uh, They needed to be born seven months. So they needed a major operation. And at that time, I didn't have access to get to anything, you know what I'm saying, especially any banks back then. 
but it was it was an operation to to if they didn't receive this operation, they something bad was going to happen, right? Just put it like that. Eric had an important meeting to go to, a deal breaker meeting. And you know what I'm saying? It gave me chills. I'm holding back the tears right now. Ain't no bitch, I'm, but I'm holding back the tears right now. I'm going to tell you. Eric Wright canceled his meeting, drove up to Fontana, California. You understand? And and and, 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 and cashed them people out, $30,000 cash here. He said, take care of your kids. I ain't none of my niggas go do nothing, especially with their family. So that's why I always salute that brother. And I know a lot of things that were taken from that brother, you know, is really not honorable. A lot of things things are done for greed and, and capital gain. We understand that. It's called Hollyweird. You know what I'm saying? But the easy that I know is will always stay with me like Kodak memories. And a lot of people that got those stories will stay with them like Kodak memories. That's why I sit back and laugh. That's why it's no different than what people have done and try to do to me in this music industry. I sit back and laugh. That's why the popular music that's out today, that 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 we shake our head and be like, man, whatever happens to the Marvin Gaye's and the Michael Jacksons and the good R&B music and the, the 90s period in 2000 when they did real instruments. Well, you know what? Even though I can turn off the radio, put on my YouTube, and sit back and laugh. You see what I'm saying? So being around easy, I take that same concept, and it really helped me. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, to be able to 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 get credibility and different things taken away from you, you know, it's enough to make somebody go crazy, Because especially if they fool whole cultures. You see what I'm saying? But then I can go back to ECE, and I can, I can sit in the room with them and close my eyes and say, well, you know what? What would Easy do at the same time? Easy would sit back and say, "Hey man, I ain't worried about that," and he sit back and laugh. So Easy man was to, just the uh, the coolest individual one would ever meet. He made all walks of life feel like they were special, fam. And a lot of people talk about this and that, but that man philanthropist skills was something else. He would give to people. He didn't care if he was black, white, Jewish. He was a giver, and that's one thing. Before I finish, that's what Eric was. He had a giving spirit, and I miss him and love him. We'll always celebrate Easy E. Uh, fan appreciation is available right now on Dad Piff. Um, videos, just log on to the Cocaine uh, official YouTube channel, Joe Young YouTube channel. Um, any last words for you guys, fans? Okay, uh, no, we just want to thank everybody, you know what I'm saying, making this fan appreciation really, you know, a success for us, for what we doing, for what we bring to the table. And, uh, you know, we just want to keep making honorable and honest and warm and heartfelt music because you can't tell me what's hot, man. You got to let the music speak for itself, so. If that happens, you know, you got one, you got something. So just watch out for, you know, that fan appreciation. Just download it. We got a few visuals coming. Me and Cole, we've been working on some other great, great, great stuff that's about to unfold and unravel. And, you know, shout out to all the reputables, man. You know, OG Big Hutch. You know, the homie Kane, the homie Gip, the homie Turk. Shout out to the whole Buddy Boy uh, artist family, you know what I'm saying, like, that's been pushing this line. Shout out to all the promoters and all the fans and everybody that's trying to book us for a show. But don't flood the DM on Twitter, though. (laughs) 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 Try to find the real email address because the DM, we can't really get to it like that, you know what I'm saying? So we got the official email addresses, you can go on the Buddy Boy site, you know what I'm saying, you can follow all our social medias, uh, you know, we just got a lot of stuff coming, man, so just watch out for that, man. I want to uh, definitely give a shout out to Sickness and everything y'all been doing over the years to to really protect the sound and, and yeah, bring it global, too. you know what I'm saying, so I really appreciate y'all, and uh, if anybody need, like, like Brother Joe said, 
if y'all want to know what's happening with us, you can go go to our site at buddyboyent.com. You spell it B-U-D, E is in there, B-O-Y-E-N-T.com. We got classic cocaine collection on there. We got stuff on Joe to sell on there. It's just, just that's the site right now. They got the, the traffic coming through there. So once again, you can go to buddyboyent.com. That's B-U-D-E-B-O-Y-E-N-T.com. And, and keep grab that with bundle that pack. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do it. Salute sickness to mm-hmm. IPM staff.